All right, here are the new lenses for the Pocket 3 sent to me by Freewell for review. As of now, this package costs $130. It comes with a carrying case, 1.1x anamorphic lens, macro lens, wide angle lens, and ND8, ND32, ND128. The build quality, as expected from Freewell, is fantastic. Everything is built out of metal with high quality, scratch resistant glass. The installation process is very simple. You simply pick a lens you want to use and magnetically attach it to the pocket rim. If you want to maintain natural motion blur, we can also attach one of the included ND filters on top of the lens, or we can use the ND filter individually. However, unfortunately, the original Freewell Pocket 3 filters are not compatible with these new lenses because they use a different magnetic design and whatnot, so keep that in mind. Anyway, let's take a look at the optics and what each lens is doing. Starting with the macro lens, this lens basically allows you to focus very closely on your subject, 40 millimeters to be precise. It looks pretty cool and delivers very sharp results, especially in the center. However, unless the camera is stationary on a tripod, it's very hard to handhold it with this lens and get good results because the focus plane is very narrow. This lens is definitely something I would not use on the pocket trim, but I'm sure you can get pretty creative results with it. However, this lens is necessary for this package because it's essentially half of the wide angle lens. The way the wide angle lens works is by stacking these two lenses together to achieve a wider field of view. I guess Freewell could have made this just one unit, but they decided to separate it to allow for more versatility. Anyway, the wide angle lens widens the field of view by 0.9 times. And if my calculations are correct, it essentially turns the 20 millimeter field of view of the pocket tree into 18 millimeters, which is two millimeters wider. And it's quite noticeable when hand holding the camera and and vlogging. For my taste, it doesn't shift the colors around, it's very color neutral and provides very sharp results in the center. However, as expected, it softens the sides of the frame and creates a pretty noticeable fisheye look. I think if you're vlogging or shooting wide landscapes a lot with the pocket trim, you're going to find this lens very useful. It's not a perfect solution, but it definitely makes a significant difference. Moving on, the last lens is the 1x1x anamorphic, which is my favorite. This lens essentially squeezes the image by 1.1 times, allowing you to de-squeeze it in post-production to create a cinematic, wider horizontal field of view, along with the famous anamorphic lens flares. For my tests, this lens has a significant yellow color shift, which doesn't bother me too much, and a slight decrease in sharpness especially on the sides of the frame, but that's to be expected. All in all, if you're doing a lot of cinematic type stuff like me with your pocket rim, you're definitely going to love this lens. I basically shot the whole beginning sequence with it and the results speak for themselves. Anyway, as for the ND filters, I did a couple of tests and all of them provide very sharp results, but the ND8 and ND32 have a slight red color shift and the ND128 has a green color shift. So these ND filters are not 100% color neutral, but most ND filters are not. Anyway, I highly recommend this package just for the anamorphic lens alone because it's so much fun and the wide angle lens because it can be very useful when vlogging. Let me know down below if you have any questions or comments and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.